Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Getting Started presentation with you, Sana. I am so glad that you have joined. So first of all, virtual high fives, big fat hugs, and welcome to the USANA community. Uh, I've been around for quite a while. I've been using the products and involved with the company for like 15 or 16 years now. And um, just as much I can like tell you today that I would have told you 15 years ago, you joined the best of the best. So congrats, welcome. I am so glad you are here. Um, um, and I am glad that you've chosen to join as a business partner. You had some options. Um, you could have just become a preferred customer. You could just be taking the products, but you joined the business. So now what do you do? How do you get started? Where do you go? Uh, what's the best thing to do first? We're going to talk about some of those. We're going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about goals, expectations, and some tools that you have um, that I highly recommend you using to get your business off the ground and running. Um, I really like this quote from Simon Sinek. It says, people don't buy what you do. So people are not going to be like, oh, USANA, great. Oh, high five. I have been looking. I've been waiting for somebody to talk to me about USANA, high five. People don't say, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it and what you do, your daily actions proves to them what you believe. So the way that you live your life, the way that you live USANA, the way that you pull USANA into your life is going to help people see value in what you're doing because you value what you're doing. So that's just a little quote. That's just something that I want you to think about when you think about your mindset and starting this business. And especially if you're somebody who is just getting started, I want you to do this. This is really, really important. So like I said, I've been in the company for like 15 or 16 years, but the first 10 years, I didn't do jack. I didn't do squat with the business. And I think a big part of that is because I didn't have a why for my business. I had a why for why I loved the products. And I went to school for child psychology and I, I own a lawn care business with, with my dad, with my family. So I didn't, this wasn't computing for me how to make this USANA a functioning business. And I wasted, I wasted like 10, 10 or 11 years of using the products and not sharing it with other people. So this is a really, really important step. I want to make sure that you take some time to do this. So we're going to talk about a few things, um, but either right after this is done or schedule in some time later today, tomorrow, whatever, make sure you make this a priority. What drove you to say yes to USANA, to the USANA business, not just the products, but what drove you to saying yes to this opportunity as a business. And I want you to think about those things and I want you to think about some goals and I want you to think about your intentions and what you wanna get out of it. And I want you to write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. I know there's been like points in my life where people have been like, write this down, write your goals, put them all over up your wall, make a, make a vision board. And there was a period of my life where I'm like, that's kind of wonky. Like, do I have to do that? Like, I know what I'm thinking and no, mm -mm write it down. There's power in the physical action of writing something down. And if you can put it together in pictures, or if you can have some sort of reminder, if you can put it in your office, if you can put a picture collage together and make it be, um, the, like the, the background, like your desktop or something that will remind you a quote, may put that on your wallpaper, on your phone, something that will give you a visual reminder every day of why you're doing this and where you want to go. Super powerful. So your why, whatever that reason is, that's going to be the force that is going to drive you through every obstacle in building this business. And I have been working the business actively for like the last five years. And I can guarantee you, you're going to get obstacles. You're going to have bad days. You're going to feel like you have setbacks, but when you have that, why it's going to give you the confidence to overcome those crappy days and to get you to feeling confident in your efforts and getting you to actually achieve, achieve those goals that you're setting out for yourself. So your why is going to become boom, that, that first layer, it's going to become that foundation of, of how you're going to build your entire USANA business. So make sure that you spend some time in your thoughts, um, and figuring that out and write it down. And then the biggest question that I get right away from people is like, okay, so now that I joined, how do I, um, how do I, how do I share this people? Like, what do I talk about first? Do I talk about the company? Do I talk about the founder? Do I talk about the science? Do I talk about which products do I talk about? And what we normally do is we kind of like, we either get like so many questions in our head that we don't even know where to start and a confused mind takes no action. Right? So we get overwhelmed and we don't do anything. 
or we have like verbal vomit and we say too much, we get um, involved in these like research holes where you think that you have to know everything before you can talk about it. <clears throat> Pump the brakes. If that's you, if you're like, I have to do the research, I have to know the science, I have to know the background, you don't have to know any of that. I'm going to tell you you don't have to know any of that because the majority of people do not care about it. What everyone wants to know is why you love it, how it helped you, the difference that you saw in your body, how it affected your health, how it affected your skin, how it helped you do whatever it is that it has helped you do what you love about it. Those are the things that's going to intrigue someone. Those are the things that's going to grab somebody's attention. And those are the things that it's going to like, that it's going to make someone comfortable wanting to join you, wanting to give these products a try. So the first things first is you just need to try products. You need to try everything. You need to make sure that you are living USANA. You're using the products so that you develop your own experience and your own story, right? When you have your own experience with something, it's going to be so much easier for you to speak from that point of view. It's going to be, you're going to be excited about sharing uh, that information and you're going to feel comfortable and confident in sharing that information because this is what happened to you, right? You might not be able to talk about what happens to your cells when you take a coquinone. You might not even be able to explain what the word coquinone means, right? But if you know, when I take this little... When I take this little red pill right here, that's a Coke, you know, when I take that little red guy, I know that it's helping my cells. I know I feel super energized throughout the day. I know that I can make it through that three or four o'clock slump. Nobody cares about all the science. They want to know how it helped you. So try the products, figure out which ones are your favorites. And that's what you start with. Start with your own experiences. And then you're also going to start with the experiences of your friends, of your family. Um, as you start to take the products, maybe take note of some of the things that you're looking to see an improvement in, if that's your health, if that's your weight, if you start using the skincare line, which I totally recommend doing, I absolutely love it. Make sure that you're taking before and after pictures. So take your before pictures of your skin, take your before pictures of your body, if you're gonna do some weight loss, or if you're gonna work on building muscle or eating healthier foods. Take product testimonials because like I said, Facts tell, but stories sell. And if you've got a great before and after picture, the proof is in the pudding and people can see how this has impacted you in your life. Or I actually just literally posted today on my, um, on my social media, a quote from somebody who did our last round of reset. We're getting ready to start another reset group. So last uh, round of reset stuff. And I just, I posted her testimonial from when it was done because those things are powerful, how it helps other people. People are encouraged and inspired by that. And, um, and, and people believe people that they know, that they trust, that they um, can see, and that you can speak to what this did for yourself, for your friends and your family. So product testimonials, before and after pictures are a really, really easy way, a really easy and welcoming way to share the results uh, from the USANA products. There's tons of tools that you guys have access to now that you have joined the USANA family. One of them is the customer catalog and that get to know USANA booklet. Those are two um, like printable booklets. You guys can actually order those. You can log onto the hub and you can order those and you can throw them in. You can mail them to people. You can send them to people. I used to give them out in um, like the in-person events that we would have. Right now we're not having a lot of in-person events. The beauty um, of our marketing team and of that, one of those pictures right there that you saw in a media center, you can access that on, on your phone through the Hub app or you can also access it on the computer when you log into like usana.com, when you log into your account. You're gonna click on business, you're gonna scroll down to the Share USANA Media Center and there's so much offered there in terms of great quality images and recipes and videos. Um, there's a section where a few leaders have gotten together and we have recorded um, just some, some good things to know how to talk to your customers on Instagram, how to use the customer connect app, how to do some how to's and, um, and some confidence boosting things to help you get you on your way. All of those videos are in there. It's just a really, really awesome resource. And then those two catalogs, the customer catalog and the get to know USANA um, booklet, they're also in there as well. So you can download that to your phone, to your computer, you can email it, you can, um, post it to your social media, you can share it, and a ton of different ways. You can tweet it if you want. Um, 
but that's what I really like because right now we're not doing a lot of in-person stuff, but you still have the ability to have somebody leaf through the customer catalog, get to know a little bit of information, get to see the pricing. Or if you have somebody who um, just wants to know a little bit more about the company as a whole, that get to know you sound a booklet has, it talks a little bit about all the products. It categorizes them for you, but it also gives you information about the company, the background, the founder, um, some of our affiliations like the USANA Foundation, um, our work with Dr. Oz, and then it will also have information about the um, the compensation plan, about the business, about about how to run the business. So it's got a little bit of everything in that get to know you sound a booklet. Both of those can also be found in the media center and you can literally email it to somebody and they can leaf through it right from their phone, right from their computer, tablet, whatever it is that they're looking at. And then ask the scientist is actually one of, I have two like favorite all-time favorite tools that USANA has. Ask the Scientist is absolutely one of them. It's literally askthescientist.com. You can go there. It's a full functioning website. You guys, I'm not a scientist. I know like zero science things. I went to school for child psychology. Mm, science, mm, not me. Biology, mm, no, but I love to learn about it. And also remember when I said like people don't really care about all the science and stuff in our products, a lot of people don't care. But what if you have somebody who does ask you a question about the science or about the ingredients or about the intended effects, all of those things. If you don't know the answers, cause you don't need to know all the answers. All you have to do is go to this resource, go to this tool and type in your question. Do you want to know about the probiotics? Do you want to know about um, the cell vive line? Do you want to know about um, intelligence and how it works, that cell signaling technology? There's tons and tons and tons of articles and resources and videos, and they explain things in a way that's actually like you can understand it and it's fun to read and learn about. I love Ask the Scientist, and you can literally share information straight from there, and you can send it to your prospects, you can send it to your customers, they can learn, and they know that they're getting information from a trusted source, right? People can ask you for advice. People, A lot of people ask me for advice on what I re would recommend, because I've been doing this for a long time, but when I want to send something with a little more credibility behind it, besides just what I think, I go to Ask the Scientist, and it's definitely a tool that you guys are going to use. It's absolutely amazing. One of my favorites. Okay. Another tool that you guys can use is your auto order. Um, auto order is just going to be an order that's going to process every 28 days, and it's going to allow you to be able to keep your USANA products coming in. Most of the stuff that we have is kind of based off of like a, a, a month usage, right? The vitamins, the health pack, it's a month. So when you're right when you're getting ready to be done with it, another one will process and it'll be shipped straight to your house. Everything is about convenience right now. Um, everyone's busy. We forget things. We don't want to think of things. And this just makes it super easy to keep everything on track to make sure that you're getting your products that you need when you need them. You can log in, you can change the products. You don't have to get the same thing every time you get what you need. You get what you're going to use, um, or you get what you want to sample off or, or resell or whatever. But being on auto order also gives you access to earning extra, um, extra like income earnings, right? With USANA. So when you came into the business, you have two options. You can come in with that $10, um, like member affiliate kind of thing, like a referral link kind of deal. You can come in, you can literally start your business with USANA for $10. People who tell me they don't have money for it. I'm like, mm, $10. Yeah, you probably do. $10. You can come in with a business and that gives you access to the PC order bonus. And so what that is, is you've got like a, a share link that you can send out to people. You can refer, um, you can make recommendations. And every time somebody orders from your referral link, you get 10% of whatever it is that they ordered, 10% of whatever they spent. So if they order a, um, a health pack, health packs like 130 bucks, you're going to get a $13 check, right? As simple as that. There's no numbers. There's no balance. There's no like extra. If you just want to try it out, see how it goes. Um, if you are just more so like of an online person and you just want to go off of links and that's going to be good enough for you. Boom. That's where it's at. That means you have access to that with that $10 entry. You have that PC order bonus, whether or not you are on auto order. It's a little hard to talk about the products and share the products if you're not using them, however, so I highly recommend being on auto order. As soon as you create an account, you save 10% off of the retail value of our products. If you're on auto order, if it's an auto ordered order that's coming to you, you're actually saving 20% off of that retail um, amount. So you're saving extra money 
And then when you're on auto order, it actually gives you access to be able to earn more off of those products that you're selling, right? So when you're on a 100 point auto order, it will give you access to that PC order bonus, right? So you'll get that 13 bucks from the health pack, but then you'll also get paid out on the volume of any of the products that you're moving through your business in one business center. That's if you're on a 100 point auto order. If you're on a 200 point auto order, that will give you access to the PC order bonus. You get the $1,300, $13 check. And then you also will start to be able to earn off of three business centers versus just one business center. So it's a huge possibility there for an, an impact on what you're doing. So we're still talking about the same one health pack that we sold, and now we're getting paid in multiple ways for it. So auto order gives you a bigger discount. It has your products coming to straight to your door, which is exactly what I like. Um, and it gives you more of an earning potential. So don't miss your auto order. You guys, I really hate it when I forget to change my auto order. Uh, or I like I have a time lapse in something and I don't have what I need for a little bit. Ah, drives me insane. Okay. I want to talk about setting goals for your business, for you sound a business. Talk about mindset, figure out your why, don't forget to do that. And then once you're done with that, I really, this is really important. So like take a screenshot of this, this uh, slide right here. I want you to think about what you want to get out of your USANA business. Like what's your why, what's driving you, but what do you want to, what do you want to get out of it? And in thinking about that, maybe you're like, no, I don't really, I don't really know what I want to get out of it. Um, you're a little vague on that. Here's two questions for you. If you need help, what are the things that you're doing now that you don't want to do? What are the things that you have to do now that you don't want to do? Think about some of those, write them down. And it's like, this doesn't have to be earth shattering. Like this could be like cleaning your house. Let's be real for a second. This is like, I'm talking to you for real right now from me. I don't want to clean my house. When I'm done with this, <laughs> I got to go clean. I got to clean some bathrooms and I don't want to do that. I have limited time. I don't want to spend time cleaning my house anymore. So you know what, one of my goals of what, what I would be doing house cleaner. I want to get a house cleaner. What is that going to look like for you, for you to get a house cleaner in this example, what would you need to do? Maybe that's one of your, maybe that's one of your things. Maybe it's not. That's legit. One of the things that I'm going to be doing, looking for a house cleaner. Um, and then what are some of the things that you want to do? but you can't right now. So maybe you want to travel more. Maybe you want to be able to, um, I don't know. I was gonna say homeschool your kids, but I feel like now it's kind of a funky thing to talk about, right? Everyone's sick of it. Um, but maybe there's things that you want to do. Maybe you want to be able to, um, I don't know, go be a foodie and try out new, uh, restaurants and go to different cities. And right now you don't have the time or the money to do it. What are some of the things that you want to do that you can't? And what are some of the things that you have to do right now that you really don't want to? And how can this use on a business make a difference in those areas? So how much time are you willing to dedicate to USANA for you to be able to meet your goals? And I want you to define your intentions. And that's really important because this is about you. Like you are in the driver's seat. And I can't tell you the amount of times that I have had people join and they don't really do anything because they don't take this part right here seriously. And it's just kind of like in the air, like, oh, well, I talked to somebody here, but then they didn't really get back to me. So I didn't do anything. I, I didn't want to bother them or, well, I was waiting for my stuff to come in, but then it came in, but then I forgot. So I didn't really use it, but I'm starting to use it now. Or I was trying to learn everything, but I just don't know everything yet. So I can't talk. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, none of that, right? Give yourself direction. You made a decision. You joined this company. You joined it for a reason. You've got goals. You have things that you want to do. Honor yourself, honor the commitment that you made, honor the intentions, honor your own goals and give life to it, right? You can't just sit back and expect this USANA business to grow without you doing anything. So set some really clear expectations for yourself and what you're going to dedicate to making this work and making this grow. So take a screenshot of this think about it and revisit this weekly. So you make new goals for yourself, right? So like right now I am willing to commit working an X number of hours a week on my USANA business, whatever that is. And I'm not going to tell you what it has to be. I'm not going to tell you what's good or what's bad. Maybe, maybe it's four hours a week, four hours a week, the four hours a week would be great. 
Don't give me four hours a week of you like cleaning your office and stuff though. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Four hours a week, maybe it's an hour a day. Maybe it's uh, 30 minutes throughout the week and then two hours on Saturday and two hours on Sunday. I don't know, whatever it is, whatever's going to work for you that you can commit to and stick to. Set that up. How many people are you going to connect with in person, online? Use social media. Use your different groups. Use your, your kids' friends. Use your dog friends, the people that you connect with at the dog park, whatever. How many customers do you want to enroll weekly? Customers aren't just going to come to you just because you decided to secretly start this, right? Like you have to start this conversation. You have to start talking to people. How many people do you want? How many customers do you want to bring in per week? How many teammates, how many associates do you want to bring in? When do you want to get your first PC order bonus by, right? That remember that PC order bonus that I was just talking about $13 for the health pack. That's number one. I would add another thing to this. If I could, I would add, when do you want to get your first CVP check by? When do you want to get your first commission volume? Like that's when you get paid out on the volume. So like your PC order bonus is like step one for your earnings. That CVP check is step two. So add that to this. When do you want to earn your first check? And then once you do that, change that up to what do you want your weekly checks to look like? Be realistic, but don't, don't always aim for the really low hanging fruit, right? Like give yourself a challenge, give, be realistic to what you can do and, and what you can achieve, but give yourself a challenge. Like don't, don't set your standards for yourself too low. Okay. Um, so think about this and, and commit to yourself, commit to your business. The customer connect is going to be a really easy way that you can share this business with people that you can run this business from your phone, that you can work this business into like the nooks and crannies of your life and your time. The customer connect is an app. You can download it on your phone available for iPhone or Android. Um, but you download it on your phone and it's a really great way to help you stay organized with what you're doing and how you're sharing USANA and what you're sending. Um, you can send, you can send some articles from that ask the scientists straight from the customer connect app. You can, um, look up your, you can look up information for your customers. You can literally, they can say, Hey, thanks for sharing this information with me. I really want to try, um, a bag of shakes and your multivitamins. You can literally open up this customer connect app, boop, 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 grab those couple products, send them a link to those products. And when they click on that link, those products will actually be in their shopping cart. That link will be direct to you and that will go right to your business. They can check out, they can create their account and it's going to get shipped straight to their house. You don't have to deliver stuff. You don't have to stockpile stuff in your house, spend a whole bunch of money. None of that. It's so easy. Customer connect helps you do that. And it's literally like in seconds, you can do so much from your phone and you can share so much, um, information and just really, it just makes your, your business really easy to work from anywhere, anywhere that you're at. Right. Read the bottom of the slide for me for just a second. Remember, never forget that when somebody says no, it just means not yet. I will tell you, I'm a firm believer that this, the business maybe might not be for everybody. Not everybody has a business mindset, right? Or the discipline to do something like this, but I do believe that the products are for everyone. I, I believe that these are the best products out there that you can trust your health to for yourself, for your family, for your kids, um, for your skin. These are the best products out there. So yes, I believe that the products are for everybody, but just because I believe that doesn't mean that everybody believes that right away. And I, I can't even count right now the number of people that I had on my team or the number of people that I have as preferred customers that originally said no to me. Mm, not right now. Mm, I can't afford it. Uh, I'm using these other products right now. I'll get back to you when I'm done with them. No is not no forever. It's just not right now. And that's okay. And especially if you're just getting started off um, into something like this, into something that's entrepreneurial, literally it is going to help you so much if you can emotionally disconnect from somebody giving you a no. People are not saying no to you. They're not saying you're not worth it. They're not saying I don't like you. They're not saying you're not worth my time or money. They're saying no to this product. They're still going to be your friend. They're still going to be your family. They're still going to love you. You can still not talk about this for the next two months or the next two years, and you can still continue to have a relationship with them. No just means not yet. Okay. Don't take it personally. You are going to get no's. And if you're going to get no's, guess what? That means you're trying. That means you're talking. That means you're doing. So get some no's. It's fine. I promise you. Okay. 
as you're talking to your potential customers, you're going to run into a different, like a couple different kinds of people. You're going to run into the people who maybe they've already done their own research. They already know what they want. They already know what they're looking for at least. And you can just help listen to them. You can shoot them one of those share links from customer connect and they'll just boop, make their order. And it's like seamless. And it's so easy. In those moments, you're like, it's amazing. Those are like your favorite moments in the business, right? When those things happen, you're also going to run across the people who are like, okay, I'm interested in health. I want to make a difference. I, I want to make a positive impact. I'm not really sure which products I should start with. Okay, great. Let's have a conversation. Let's figure that out. And then you're also going to have the people that are like, okay, yeah, I want to be healthy, but I have no idea where to start. I have no idea what to do. What should I be looking for? Should I shop in the store? Should I shop from you? And it's going to be your job to help them figure out what product is right for them. So here's some do's and some don'ts when you're recommending a product and when you're talking to customers about products, right? So you just wanna ask questions. Here's the biggest thing. Ask questions that are gonna help you be able to come up with a, um, almost like a solution for them. Like what is, gonna, what is gonna help whatever their needs are? And it helps if you ask yes or no questions that will make it easy for them to respond, for you to be able to kind of guide that discussion. And then stop asking questions when you have enough information, right? So when you can say, I'm gonna recommend three or four products to you, here's where we should start off with. Unless if you've got, there's a really small percentage of people that are going to be like, listen, I have X, Y, and Z health issues. I need solution for all of them. And I'm ready and willing to jump in with both feet, right? That's going to happen. Sometimes you'll get people that you can, um, you can recommend more than a few products for, but the majority of people, you just want to be able to give them a starting point, right? That's just what they need. So once you do that, once you figure out what those are, share a product link with them from the computer or from the customer connect app on the phone, share that with them and then explain to them why you're sharing those products. And you're going to do that because you want them to know that you were listening to what they were saying here's what you said. And here's why I'm going to recommend these products for you. And it's going to be able to validate what they told you. And then whatever aspect, if you're talking about supplements, go ahead and let them know that we've got a skincare line and we've got a, um, a, a weight management line that can also help you as well. So just make them aware of the other products that we have and then don't overwhelm them. Don't make them say, okay, so I heard what you were saying and you should take like 15 pills in the morning and then like 17 at night. People are going to be like, what are you insane? Have you gone crazy? Like just give them a starting point, right? Don't get too detailed. Don't make it uncomfortable for them to answer questions, especially if you're talking about somebody's health situation, right? Like sometimes that's a little tricky to share with people. So you just want to be able to just give them enough. Don't overwhelm them and don't, don't like rapid fire all of your questions, right? Don't just don't be overwhelming. Be, think about a positive experience that you had with uh, customer service or with a store or with somebody that you were working with. And just what were the feelings that you had around that? You felt listened to, you felt validated, you felt appreciated, be those things and have that experience with other people. And that's what makes them wanting to come back to you and continue to work with you. So as you're sharing this USANA opportunity, you're going to be able to do it one-on-one. -on -one. You can do stuff like this, right? Like maybe we're not doing one-on-ones and we're not doing group events right now, but you can still do a Zoom. You can still do a FaceTime. You can still do a group event on, on Zoom. You can do online presentations. You guys, I have a really great online presentation that we have been using since, since the start of this entire COVID situation that we're in. Um, we wanted to do something different where we traveled with a couple of different associate friends of mine. And then we were like, Oh, I don't think we're going to be traveling soon. Oh, I don't know if this is at the beginning of everything. And so we took a hard pivot and we came up with these online events. We call them sip and scrubs. And so we take a little, this is a little package that we send out to people. And it's literally a sample of two things two of our skincare samples. So this week I got these little cosmetic jars at, um, from Amazon. And then I, we put the charcoal scrub in here, our exfoliating charcoal scrub. It's freaking amazing. It's my favorite thing. And then the serum, this is also my other favorite from the skincare line. So we sampled these two things, put it in a cute little bag. We got like a washcloth or a headband. We kind of switch up what we put in there and we send this to them. We hop on a zoom call and we're on here for one hour. 
it's not too long. We're not taking up too much time. We tell you, meet us on Zoom, grab a glass of your favorite drink, a glass of wine, a, a beer, a mixed drink. If you don't drink, bring some tea, bring some juice, but bring whatever you want to drink. We play games, we laugh, we learn about each other. And in the first five minutes, we go over just a little bit of information about the entire company. Then we apply, everybody applies the scrub together. We go over all of the, um, all of the products in the Cell Aviv line. So they're getting educated while we're playing the games. And then afterwards, um, we kind of just highlight the, the other products that we have really, really high key. We offer specials, um, we do raffles, and it's been an incredible way to continue to grow our business during this time that we're, we're not in front of people and everything is, is being operated online, right? And it's been incredibly successful. So don't shy away from online presentations and think that they're impersonal. You just have to make them fun. Um, and then also feel free to reach out to me if you want to join one of our Sip and Scrubs to to, um, just to see how they're run and you can always invite people to join them, use them to, to run your, run your business and to grow your business. You can always figure it out and then run with it and run your own. But in the meantime, leverage ours, right? Um, we are happy to do that and happy to allow you to come into our group and, and run them with us. The more, the merrier, right? So once you're done with events like that, or once you're done with a conversation or once you're done meeting with somebody, once they have, um, placed the order, you always, always, always have to follow up. If you are not following up with your people, when life takes over, when your brain, um, get the kids are going crazy, the dogs are going crazy, whatever you lose that opportunity. You lose that connection when you don't follow up. So you have to follow up with your potential customers, the customers that you do have, following up with them, asking them how things are going, how are they liking the products, um, how is it impacting them. Those are the ways that you either ensure that you actually get in order, you ensure that you actually get your, uh, your potential customer into an actual customer, or the ways that you continue your relationship with your customers to make sure that they are on the products and using them. And then you can also keep track of where you are in that process on the Customer Connect app. So you can import, um, you can import your contacts and keep track. You can add notes. You can like pull up a receipt. You can send videos straight from there. It's super useful. Um, so play around with the Customer Connect app. I actually did a, a training on the Customer Connect app. It's just a 12-minute training breakdown of how to use all of the buttons on there. Um, so take a look, search for that, and that's super useful. The Customer Connect app is so useful. I can't stop talking about it. And then be a problem solver, you guys. You're you're a business owner now. Like. It's, it's exciting. It's a big deal. And you're, you're gonna be met with some problems, right? Like no business doesn't have any problems, right? No family doesn't have problems. No regular job doesn't have any problems. So these are some of the most common objections that people get. Like I don't have time. I don't have money. I'm not a salesperson or I don't know anyone. Right. So no time. I guarantee you, if you took a look at how you spend your 24 hours, everybody has 24 hours. So like the super productive People who are making millions, they got 24 hours in a day. The people who are chilling and spending four or five hours watching Netflix at the end of the day, they also have the same 24 hours. So if you take a look at how you spend your day, I guarantee you that you can find a little bit of time every day or a little bit of time every week to dedicate to growing a USANA business, to reaching out, to talking to people. Um, no money, that's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm sure people people will spend money where they see value, right? I'll say it again. People will spend money where they see value. So if you can help somebody see the value in taking care of their health and taking care of their cells and taking supplements and taking care of their skincare and using a really high quality skincare system, people don't have a problem spending money on what they see value in. I, this is the, I've got some highlights right now. This is the second time in my life I've ever done highlights because I don't spend $200 in a salon, but I'll spend $200 on my health. That's just me. So when you are able to help them see the value in what this is and how it affects them and how it's affected you, that one kind of, that one kind of goes away. As far as joining as a business, people say, well, I'm not really a salesperson. And I'm, there's two, there's two answers to that. Number one, I'm going to say you just joined a business that you get paid off of promoting products, right? So like you do have to become a little bit of a salesperson. Like you got to get over that just a little bit. That's what I got to say for that. But I don't ever, like, I don't feel like I've ever been a product pusher. 
I don't feel like I'm a, a gross salesperson because I truly believe in the value of these products. I use them every single day. I use the skincare, I use the hair care, I use the lotion, I use the supplements, I use the drinks every morning, um, the shakes. I use everything so I can speak to it from my heart, right? I'm not pushing something that I don't believe in. So use the products and you're, you won't feel like you're a salesperson. And then the, I don't know anyone. I Like that face right there, that, that, that's the face that I want to give people when they're like, mm, but I don't know anyone. I don't do it, of course. But like in my head, I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? Because you know people. Everybody knows people. Like I'm a, I'm a people person. I could, I could make friends with this little piece of essential oil balm right here. I can make friends anywhere I go. You know people, even if you're an introvert. You know people, even if you don't love meeting random people. You know people, go through your phone. You'll be surprised when you go through your phone and the list of contacts in there that people like you have just forgotten about. Honestly, go through your Facebook. Go through people who like your posts. Go through people who are like interacting with you, even if it's just on like a, a back here level, right? You know people. Think about your friends. Think about your family. Think about your friends' friends that you know. Think about the people that you know from the gym, from the salon, who does your nails. Um, I don't know. Think about your friends at the dog park or whatever. You know people. I promise you know people. All right. And then once you get those objections, any of those that we just talked about, or maybe a different one that you would hear, um, first of all, just expect them. They're going to happen. If you're running a business. Not everyone is just going to come flocking to you. It's going to happen and it's okay. It's okay. Right. Acknowledge what it is that people are telling you. So maybe don't make this face right away. Don't, don't make that face right away. Acknowledge what they're saying and then just ask questions to help understand where they're coming from and help them work through that. You can see that this can be a vehicle to help them in a number of different ways and just help them work through Have a conversation and listen. Stop talking, right? Like I feel like the entire world could be in a better situation if everyone would just stop talking over each other and just listen. Listen to the needs and concerns of that person and how you can help them, right? Same, same thing in this business right here. The Usana events are an amazing tool. I love them. I'm missing them right now. We just had our international convention online and they still did an amazing job and it was so much fun. Um, but it's also so much fun. It's so powerful to get together with this Usana family and to get educated and to hear from the scientists. And they always have like product releases and different things that they're doing at our international conventions. And then things like Sweet Retreat. Sweet Retreat is um, just for women all the women in the company. It's every February. Um, it was the last trip that I took this year. I was down in California with my friends and it's actually where we had, it was like the brainchild of starting these sip and scrubs. There was four of us who decided that we wanted to work together. Myself, Crystal Krebs, um, Fernanda Puga and, um, Felicia Menchaca. We're friends. None of us are in the same business line. We're all cross line, but we love each other. We met each other through this company and we love working together. So we, the four of us work together and we run these sip and scrub events and we've got an incredible friendship that literally started from events like this. So as soon as we start these again, make sure that these events are on your schedule, mark it in, make it happen because they're so powerful for your business, for your community and for the belief in the company and just for the training. They're awesome. I highly recommend them. So now when we're talking about how you spend your time in growing this business, remember we said like, I can work X number of hours. I want this. I want that. Here's how I want you to look at that time frame. So if you've got an hour, if you have four hours a week, only 10 to 20% of that time is going to be on stuff like this, right? Like sending an email, creating a Canva flyer, organizing your office, right? Like listening to a podcast, looking at as a scientist to just read and learn about stuff, right? Fine tuning your skills. All of those things are incredibly useful. Do those things, but don't include them in your big chunk of your time frame that you're dedicating to this business. These, these things are considered non revenue generating activities. They're good to do. They're not going to increase your paycheck, right? Here are the things that you want to spend 80 to 90% of your time on connecting with people, talking to them, starting conversations about their health, meeting with people, either current customers or potential customers, picking up the phone, showing interest, scheduling presentations, doing sip and scrubs, um, getting referrals from your, from your people and doing USANA based events. These are the things that are going to get a 
potential customer into that customer frame and get, um, just grow your business and grow your team. This is where you need to spend your time. Okay. Make sure that the time that you allot for yourself is on activities that are going to grow your business. Super important. All of those other things, investing in yourself, studying podcasts, business books, uh, Jim Rohn is amazing. Like all of these practicing, practicing your, your story, practicing your um, presentation, practicing your speeches, however you, whatever you want to do, do all of those things to keep your mindset strong, to keep your business strong, um, and do them on a regular basis. I like a lot of the podcasts and stuff that I do, that I listen to, it's like in the background while I'm cooking, while I'm cleaning, stuff like that, so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't take up my, my productive time, but I'm still doing it, right? It's definitely something that you want to do. And then just get started. I could talk to you guys all day long about tips and tricks and ideas and stuff like that. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't feel like you have to know everything because you're never going to know everything. Don't feel like you have to be an expert. Don't feel like you have to be able to present like somebody else does before you can start. You guys have heard the phrase that says you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to start to be great, right? You have to start from somewhere. And I guarantee you the first time that I started doing Facebook lives or I started speaking on stage or I started doing presentations, I wasn't, I wasn't as good as I am now. I wasn't as comfortable. I wasn't as confident but you just got to start. Just do it. Just do the thing. Make the text, make the call, do the presentation because every time you do them, you're going to get better. So take the products, get a story, get an experience and just share. Be excited about sharing something that's important to you. And that's just the easiest way to get started. So that's the easiest way you're going to be able to gain confidence in it. So do these things, download the USANA hub app to your phone, download the customer connect app to your phone and listen to that customer connect training. Um, and you are going to be on your way and, um, do your why don't forget to do your why right away. And then set your expectations for yourself and stick to them, stick to them, honor what you said that you are going to do for yourself to change some of those, what I want to do and what I can't do and what I'm doing that I don't want to do. Right. Welcome to the Asana family. I'm so glad that you joined. Um, my name is Alexis and I, uh, my, my name on Facebook is Alexis Cervantes Kozlowski. Um, you can find me by searching that, or you can find me on Facebook by searching shake, smile, sweat, and you can find me on Instagram by searching shake, smile, sweat. That's my Instagram handle. I teach Zumba classes. So we shake, smile and sweat together. Um, connect with me, ask me any questions. I would love to help you. I'd love to get you started. And I can share that um, customer connect training for you. Enjoy your day. Welcome to the USANA family. And I am wishing you the best.